welcome to a new week. My name's Nicola if you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. So, it's Saturday. It's Saturday and as you can see, I have been prepping for a barbecue we've got with friends this afternoon. It is supposed to rain, <laughs> but we are now fated. Every time we have a barbecue, it's just gonna rain and we've just got to deal with that. But <laughs> it's annoying because they've got two children, so it would have been ideal to be outside, but never mind. Um, so we're just doing, I went to the butchers yesterday and I bought burgers, I bought sausages with caramelised onion in, I bought chicken kebabs, then from Audi I've got lamb kebabs, and then I'm doing onions here for the hot dogs and what's that, mini potatoes in there, I'm doing chips because I know the kids will love chips and salads on the table already. Let me show you this table set up. Alexa, off. There he is. <laughs> I'm focused now. Yeah, you're not. You're not blurry now. You. Right. So this is um, the table set up so far. I've used the lemon thing for the cutlery and the sauces. We've got the rolls, we've got the salad, we've got my autumn gonk. I don't know if I showed you this last week, but Mark's sister Lisa bought this autumn gonk for me. He hasn't got a name yet, but I was thinking Rusty because he's got like a brownie coloured hat on. Oh, come on, sun. Black cloud, you can go away. But we want some sun. So out here I've just got these three things in the middle of the table to put your drinks and whatever on. And then I've got some games here for the kids to play. I've set up the bar yesterday. I'll take you to see that. We've got to put all the um, drinks in there yet because we're leaving that to the last minute. We're going to put them into cool bags because we haven't got a fridge in here. But I've just got, me and Leah will probably have a Prosecco. So I've got two Prosecco glasses, two wine glasses. Um, I cleaned all of this but the spiders keep making their webs which is very annoying and then here I've put water in here I need to put ice in there for the kids and glasses and just mark some beers but I cleaned it all up so it's all ready I just hope that the um, rain holds off <laughs> because otherwise Mark's going to be uh, doing the barbecue with a umbrella up again which is probably going to happen but never mind I can't do much about it you can't really control the weather can you so unfortunately what are you up to Artie? Hey? yesterday he got on top of his cave which he's been trying to do for so long and then he slipped off sideways <laughs> You're going to go in. Well, it's a bit of a weird way to get into your cave, isn't it? Because you've got a rock the other side of you. Oh, Artie, you are a bit awkward, aren't you? Eh? You are a bit awkward. <laughs> He's getting there. He's getting there. Have you made it? Made it? Are you in? <laughs> Good. Right, we're just waiting for our guests to arrive. It's clouded over, but I'm crossing my fingers. I just wanted to show you one thing while we're waiting for them to arrive. You know I said that I needed a picture to put on the wall in the hall to cover the command strip marks? I got one. So I had this printed. Let me go back so you can see the full effect. When we were in Brimfield, Ludlow, um, this was Ludlow Castle. If you remember that vlog, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. But can you see Mark at the top there? <laughs> so I thought that was quite funny, but I love it. I really love looking at it. I'm really pleased with it. And it only cost me like 20 quid from eBay. If you just try to type into eBay, personalized canvas, and then you upload your photo and whatever photo, you know, you can get a 
different size because I got exactly the size I wanted but we have got some other marks in the haul we've got some here um, we've got some here <laughs> so Mark is going to and up there and Mark is going to try and rub them all down and then paint over them and see if that works because I don't want to put pictures everywhere but I did actually want a piece of art for this wall anyway because we just had this up I thought it wasn't enough because it was sort of just there to the side so yeah I'm really pleased with that next to it and it's a little bit of uh, history from our you know memories from our holiday in Broomfield and you can spy where Mark is each time <laughs> it's like where's Wally isn't it <laughs> let's see what Mark's cooking a mess um <laughs> no good god it's half a farmyard isn't it you'll find Look at the stars and sausages. So which ones are George's? Them ones. Them ones, okay. <laughs> He's got it sorted. Looks good. Yep, we're not far away now at all. Do you want to put cheese slices on the burgers or are you going to let people do that? Do cheese slices. Whoever wants a cheeseburger. Right, we've got the food. Food. There you go, you're recording. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> to get sure. well, why don't you get Georgie to sit down and then she could put her, him as long as it doesn't ruin her tool of her skirt yeah. well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> sniff your hand a nibble is a sign of affection with guinea pigs he likes you. yeah oh. and skips <laughs> Skip's going back. Skip's like, where's, where's, where's gone? Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday fun day. We had a good um, afternoon, didn't we, with Nicolia and the kids. As you probably saw, Georgie took over the camera on several occasions. <laughs> and she's very excited to watch herself on the telly. So when I said once I've edited it, I'll send it over to her mum and then she can play it to her. Um, we are huh, very excitingly first going to the dump with this just for, lot for a change. just for a change yeah because we don't go to the dump very very often and then we are heading into town and grabbing some breakfast from a little restaurant called Timbers it's one that Holly and Louie go to all the time for breakfast we haven't been have we for breakfast we've no. been for lunches before but we've never been for breakfast so we thought we'd try it out to soak up some of the alcohol from yesterday and then mark needs to sort his phone out don't you yes because you've been paying a stupid amount for how long months and months and months and he thought it was holly's phone he was paying out for that amount and it's not it was his and he's got the most rubbish phone haven't you well, it's just Obviously, for the work I do, it's just bad and bruised, isn't it? Well, it's just a basic phone, though, isn't it? It's nothing like your iPhone 11 oh, or anything no, like that. Like. It's, I think it's a 7 or something like that. 7 or 8, yeah. But anyway, so paying that amount for a stupid phone is ridiculous. So we're going to go in today into O2 and just ask them, you know, what he can do because he's paying all this money and he doesn't need to be. So that's why we're going into town, but we just thought we'd combine it with breakfast. And then later on, we've got um, Mark's mum and dad over with family friends because they haven't seen the bungalow yet. And we've been there four years in December, so we, we need to show them round. And we, I've got loads of cake from Audi, even though I've squashed one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the squashed one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it would taste the same. Yeah, it would taste the same. It goes down the same way. It was in the back of the car when I was coming out of Audi. I heard my shopping slide over and I was like, oh, and it was the cake. But anyway, right, let's go to the dump, our favourite place. 
Here we are at the dump again. I did ask Mark if he wanted help, but he said no. It takes quite a lot going up these steps for me. So I do help if he wants it, but there he is. Hello. Last lot. Yeah, that's a bit of cardboard. <laughs> like a bit of cardboard. <laughs> wow. Look at that. <laughs> Many hours later. Right, we've had our friends around this afternoon, our family friends. I think they liked the bungalow. Soon too, didn't they, Mark? Yeah. Mark's cooking the dinner. We've got beef, mash, veg, and gravy tonight. And it smells very, very nice. <laughs> we've tested the beef and it's really good that so I'll show you. Oh, it's from Sainsbury's, wasn't it? Mm. It's about six pounds. Mark's done the mash. And then we've got some carrots and green beans on the boil in here. We cook our beef in the slow cooker so it just falls apart, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really nice. I haven't put my little lights on yet. There we go. Ta da! Good morning. Gosh, my hair looks quite big, doesn't it? <laughs> um, it is bank holiday Monday, hence why I've done my hair, because we are off to Mark's mum and dad's today for a family get-together, so of course you're coming with us. Um, and I've crimped my hair. I'll show you what I use to do this, and it takes me around half an hour, so it's not a quick thing. So I only do it when I've really got the effort and the <laughs> wanting to do it. <laughs> Okay, so these are the ones that I used. Um, they're the three tongs, and you just sort of push that up and clip the hair in it. And you ha I take three lengths, like three of these down each length of hair. Um, where's the brand? JM. JM. But you can pick these up on Amazon or anywhere. I think Holly bought them for me one Christmas. But I just decided to. Uh, to crimp my hair today it's getting really long and I'm getting into the stage now where I'm not quite sure what to do with my hair because usually I get to this stage and I'm like cut it all off but part of me wants to cut it all off and part of me doesn't um, when it's shorter it takes more effort to style than when it's longer if that makes sense but when it's longer I tend to just bung it up in a ponytail a lot and you know I just think so I don't know. I don't know what to do with my hair at the moment, but it will need a trim soon because it's getting quite long and I don't want it to get to the point where it's unmanageable, you know. Um, obviously, it's a bit shorter at the moment because I've crimped it, so it's gone up a bit, but, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever, I don't know. But I want to show you my outfit today because I'm, I'm quite liking it. So, so excuse the um, lighting in this mirror. I still haven't got... A light above it yet um, that's Mark's boss that's doing that at some point um, but I've got this little pretty top on that's from Primark and I haven't been able to wear this all summer because it was too tight for me but now it fits quite nicely um, I love the sleeves I think the sleeves are really pretty it was literally 10 pounds I think this top and this is in an 18 and it's just a weird cut though because it got it the cuts here which is across your boobs so cuts are usually underneath your boobs or up higher aren't they but this one's right across your boobs so it's a bit weird but I think it's a really pretty floaty top and I love it and then this skirt that's my <laughs> I'm wearing my um what do you call it chub rub shorts this skirt was from a charity shop um and it cost me about four pounds i think but i thought it looks quite nice with this top and then i've just got this pale blue cardigan in case i get a bit chilly but yeah i'm um i'm quite liking i feel a bit um mamma mia <laughs> you know like a bit 
thingy, Greek island. That's how I feel my look is today. But <laughs> let's go and have a nice family day at Mark's mum's. Yeah. We seem to have lost all our little birds though at the moment. We've seen them in Robin and one in Robin. All disappeared. We had a Robin yesterday. We did. Yeah, I've not seen him before. He's loving it, isn't he? <laughs> Mitch taking all the sausages. Look at this. Food. Food. What a spread. Who's eating all the chips? Poppy. <laughs> you got about a few left because Poppy's probably taking them all. Lucky I like new potatoes. <laughs> Go and get your prawn sandwich. Oh no, he's got the camera. Oh, he's going for seconds. I'm taking this shit. Are you going for seconds? Oh, I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. Mum, you sit there. I'll do it. Penalty. Send him off. Jeez, thanks for that. <laughs> nothing new but it's so good to see you we do this every day and I'm still so amazed by you so hold Turn it over. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Start you. Oh, okay. Name three brands of shoe. Nike, Adidas, Skechers. Yeah. Cool. That's quick. <laughs> we'll go round. least name three James Bond movies. Uh, Tomorrow Never Die. Uh, Skyfall and um, Gold Oh yeah, Gold <laughs> <laughs> Right, Dad, name three people you messaged recently. That'd be hard. Mark. Gandhi. Mark. <laughs> Mark. Name three parts of a traditional roast. Rice, potatoes, carrots and Yorkshire pud. Are they your favourites? No. no. <laughs> three letter word is the noun used for the young, young of a beaver. Ooh. Yes, Dad. Well done. Dad got it? Oh, no. <laughs> Kit. I think going round. No. <laughs> <laughs> what hangs down from the roof of the cave? A bat. No. Stalactite, yeah. Oh, what? Stalactite. In which sport was Sir Donald Brabham famous? Can you give us a second to process this? In which city is the... How do you pronounce that? You've got a second now. Oh, Doge's. Doge's Palace. Doge's Palace. Venice. Very good. In the zodiac, which animal is linked with Capricorn? <gasps> Go. No. What the? Right. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> a minute. It's a long time. Good morning. It is just another manic Monday. No, it's not. That was yesterday, because the bank holiday mind is throwing me now. It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday, which means I've got to put the rubbish out tonight. I've got to remember that. Um, today we've got a fun morning, stroke lunchtime. I'm just about to go and get mum and dad, and we are going on a tractor ride. Um, it's in a place called Tiptree, where they make the Wilkins jam and well they make a lot of other things other than jam now as well they make so many sauces and different chutneys and all sorts but anyway it was i think eight pound for the tractor ride they're just doing it throughout the school holidays so there might be quite a few kids about um but we're gonna have the tractor ride at 12 and then we're booked in for lunch at one so i'm looking forward to that it'll be good because 
you know, I've been near Tiptree all my life. I, I was brought up in Tiptree, um, so it would be nice to actually see, you know, the behind the scenes and the fruit farms and things. So, but before we go, and I've got to hurry up because I've got to go, I need to reveal the name of the autumn mouse. Little autumn mouse there. <laughs> Her name is Matilda. And someone guessed it. So I liked all your name suggestions. They were all lovely. And I would have changed it if there was one that caught my eye more than Matilda. But Matilda was in my head. And then someone said, suggested Matilda. And I was like, yes, it is Matilda. That is her name. And then someone, I think it's Kitty, has bought a um, little autumn mouse as well from the range. Oh, I can't remember what you called her now, Kitty. Sorry escape my memory i'll have to look back on the uh, messages on instagram um but yeah i like the way that i am influencing you to buy autumn mice <laughs> anyway let's get going because otherwise i'm going to be late right we're here we're just uh waiting for the tractor to arrive we're just saying we've never seen all this before we've come here quite a bit haven't we but all the old tractors we just walk into the trailer We have a pile of dirt. <laughs> Some good compost there. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. It reminds me a bit. We're not doing it backwards because it will take too long. We're not trying backwards. Lee has been farming here for over 400 years. They've also been making jam for over 137 years. Front and over to the left. They're right down there, past the road. Oh. They have no plastic on them. That's because we picked the fruit. In there are our soft fruits, just down there. They've got no poly on them. Here. We have the black cherries, apricots and peaches. Now normally they would have the poly all over them and the fronts and the backs would be closed up as well because it's a race between us and the birds as to who gets the black cherries I imagine yeah. we hold our social events the next one will be this Saturday where we'll be holding the Little Scarlet Festival now any money we make from tickets, food and drink is given to charity last year we presented five and a half thousand pounds to the Ukrainian Red Cross so it's quite a nice figure. Somebody told me it was Barley Hospice this year, but I'm not sure. So now these trees are over 140 years old. They were put in by the Wilkins family for silkworms. Silkworms like white leaves. These are red. So they're no good for silkworms at all. Hmm. Oh. Now when these fruits are picked, you get the pickers have to wear an all-in-one suit. Their hands are stained red, and so are their faces. It takes days to come off. And they say that's where the saying caught red-handed came from. Ah. Very clever. Now we have four farms. We have Tick Tree, Gold Hanger, Tolsbury, and Tolson Darcy. Between them they cover 850 acres and they have seven reservoirs between them. So we use the Israeli method of irrigation. That means we pump the water to our plants 
and then once that use flows back into the reservoir so we don't actually have standing water the reservoir yeah which we used to walk by we used to walk by that yeah. when i used to walk this over. field on your life on your life on your left <laughs> had an archaeological survey done earlier this year because we're so close to colchester we had to have it done to see if there were any encampments or any buildings or anything there weren't they found a few roman coins but that is the field where our solar panels are going in to support the factory and the offices. On your right and also on your left, we've planted quite a few kilometres of English hedgerow. So we have blackthorn, hawthorn, rosehip, oak, whatever else is in there, I don't know. But we planted them this side as well. You can just about see the bamboo sticks. The reason being is that our beech trees are dying and we don't know why. So rather than plant trees, we decided to plant hedgerow because there's more cover for the animals and there's more food for the birds. This field here, when I came down, I just thought it was a, a load of dead sticks. You can see them. But actually, it wasn't. It was millet. I've never seen millet grown before, so what it is is like a tall stick and then you have the millet just sort of grows and drops down over the top. Never heard of millet. So yeah, yeah. 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 very unusual crop. Yeah, bunches. Yeah, you used to put a string of millets in their cages. And? Orchard on your right is our quince orchard. This is the second to last fruit to be harvested. When it's ripe, it's yellow, and it can look like a pear, but it tastes nothing like a pear. Yeah, it looks so like a pear. So if you bite into it, it will dry your mouth out like a desert. Oh, it's like eating cardboard. It's horrible. <laughs> so that's why we make um, quince, jam, quince jam, quince jelly, and quince gin. Yeah? Oh. Very nice. Strawberry oh. plants on this farm. So everyone is planted by hand and everything is picked by hand. It takes six weeks from flower to strawberry and the season is from May to roughly the end of October. During the day we can pick 20 tonnes of strawberries. During the season we can pick 114,000 tonnes of strawberries. <laughs> On your left now is a nature reserve that we planted up four years ago. After the first year we had to go back in and thin it out because we'd put too many plants in there, as you can see. So we cut them down and left them for the bugs. So this is a safe area because nobody is allowed in there, nobody with a dog or anything. It's forbidden. Now, Mr. Peter Wilkin is a great lover of hares. So the hares went through a rough period not so long ago. And nobody, but nobody is allowed to hunt hares on any of his farms because he wouldn't think twice about prosecuting you. There's so many, isn't there? Yeah. I wonder how much strawberry pickers get paid. Uh, if it's oh, the flowers, it tells you how many more strawberries are to come. Some are more prolific than others. This one's got quite a lot. It's low. On your right is Tiptree Tip Tree House. Oh, where Mr. Peter back. Wilkin lives. Yeah. Mr. Peter Wilkin being the last of the Wilkins family, there is nobody else to carry on the Wilkins name except the company and we run along the lines of John Lewis, the employees own 49% and management etc own 51%. So if the company was ever sold, the employees shares would be bought out. So they actually gain. The same that if you leave the company you have to sell your shares back to the company, you cannot keep them. Tease. Anybody who works for Wilkin & Sons full time or any of their companies 
can put their name down on a waiting list, but I can assure you that waiting list is years long. But then if you're going to live somewhere like that, it's worth waiting for, isn't it? Just one on back seat. No, it's hard to believe that they were people. Yeah. Now, on your left is the hall. So in the hall, there's an admin department to help any uh, pickers with whatever problems they've got. There's also a kitchen in there. There's extra ta uh, toilets and showers. There's washing machines, tumble dryers. And in the hall itself, there's a mini gym, there's snooker, table tennis, bending machines, and a television. So they yeah. work hard for us, so we look after them. Back to the beginning. And just like that, we're finished. We did have lunch, and I forgot to film any of it. I, me and Dad had tuna melt uh, toasty. Which I've got to say is one of the best toasties I've had in a long time. I don't know if it was because I was so hungry because <laughs> I hadn't eaten anything. And it was like half past one. But yeah, it was a really good toasty. And we had tea and it was just lovely. And then we had a look around their little shop. But I couldn't really film that because it's a small shop, you know. And I felt a bit it wasn't right to film there. And I've just had to get some milk from Tesco's. And now I'm heading home. But it's been really nice like i say i used to walk where i filmed i used to walk around a lot of those places in my childhood because in them days you could walk anywhere couldn't you and <laughs> when i was young you didn't have to like be with people and <laughs> i just used to walk miles so yeah right home now to put the shopping away and have a rest before i start the dinner hello happy towel wash wednesday towels are on i think they've just finished actually um i'm off today to Home Bargains, B&M and Poundland to film a Halloween stroke autumn shop with me. So obviously you won't be seeing that in this video, you'll be seeing that in a Wednesday upload. I will fill you in later on how I got on and then I also want to finish my filming my back pain clinic vlog today. I've done two workouts now um, in a row so yesterday morning and this morning I did two workouts. They were like 12 minutes long, 16 minutes long, something like that, uh, just from TikTok. So I did that, which was really good. And it makes me feel better. But I'm feeling it in my, my bum and my legs today from yesterday. So obviously it's doing some good. Oh, I might go and pick some blackberries later if they're ready and make Mark and Holly a blackberry crumble because they love that. So um, we can go and do that if, if they're ripe enough. Right, I've just finished my mammoth to look round Halloween and autumn stuff. And now I'm going to go home and film the haul. I didn't get a load of Halloween stuff actually. I got more other stuff, so I will show you that first. I thought before I do the haul, which isn't much, <laughs> for the Halloween and autumn shop with me, I would do a bit of a haul of what else I had to buy. So, because <laughs> I always have to get stuff. Anyway, let's go with, was it B&M or Home Bargains I got that? It was Home Bargains, how much were they? A few moments later. I got two to toilet rolls, <laughs> big toilet rolls. I got two kitchen rolls for £1.89. Look at the size of them. So, similar size to what I buy in Aldi, but Aldi's um, kitchen rolls are at least a pound dearer. So, Home Bargains are a pound cheaper for two rolls. So, it's definitely worth getting some from there if you're in there. Obviously, if you've got room to sto stock things up, then great, but I haven't really got that, so I just bought two. Um, also in Home Bargains, I got Mark's flapjacks for his lunchbox so I got him a white chocolate one a cherry cherry and almond it's basically a cherry bakewell they've got cherries in the flapjack um, just a plain flapjack and then a chocolate chip flapjack 
So these I put in his lunchbox. They're 39p each, which isn't bad, is it? And they're a nice big size because he obviously has a really physical job. So it's nice to and give him something nice in his lunchbox, you know, like a treat. Um, had to get some more coarse steel daily mouthwash for Mark because he was told he's got the start of some gum disease and he had to use that. We also use these little white toothpicks. They're called Floss Harps, removes plaque from beneath teeth, super strong coated floss. So that's what we use to floss with. And also in Home Bargains, I got this notepad. I thought it was quite a pretty color because when Poppy goes to uni, you know I keep a journal at night and at the same time, I'm going to start, like, I'll be writing Poppy a letter and fill her in on what I've done that day. So it's going to be almost like a journal letter that she's asked me to do, just so that she can feel like she's still here. So I'm going to do that every week. So I had to buy that so I could rip out the pages. I had to get another bathroom air freshener this is mrs hinch pink tulips and white jasmine because our other one ran out and then i couldn't find disastrous my salt and vinegar one so i had to get sour cream and onion which will still be nice but salt and vinegar are my all-time favorite so i only got two of them because i didn't have any of the salt and vinegar ones and then I did get these. Now we don't do Friday night snacks anymore because I've been trying to be good with my eating and everything. Um, but these are, where does it say? 30% less fat and one bag is all I've given us. And they're prawn cocktail flavour, which is Mark's favourite. Just a little treat on a Friday night with our drink. And I managed to get Poppy's first aid tub which I thought I'd show you the bits and I can transfer it as I'm showing you. This was one pound something, one pound 29 this box was. To be fair, this because this is what I use for Mark's lunch as well. I should have got him one of these as well because his lunch box has seen better days. But this is what, so I've, <laughs> I've had it all in here because it's not big enough. So I got her some paracetamol. These are the ones that I use. They're Paracet Pain Relief Plus. Um, and they've got caffeine in them. Now you should avoid caffeine when you've got fibromyalgia like the plague, but when you're taking paracetamol, this is from my GP, you should have the ones with the caffeine in because they make the paracetamol work quicker. Always consult your GP before taking medication. <laughs> Ibuprofen. And then look, Looney Tunes plasters. Now she's gonna absolutely love these she's going to love those so much oh i had some strepsils so i'll put them in case she gets sore throat um and some loritidine because she gets bites on her she, she's sort of allergic to bites and i thought if she's out late playing football or something she might get bitten so i've got bite cream as well there um i've just got normal plasters and some bigger plasters and I got her a tubular support bandage because all the sports she's playing. And then a Vicks vapor rub. In case, well, she will. She'll get a cold at some point because when they go back to school, college, uni, all the germs fly around, don't they? So this is her little first aid tub. Um, I think that's it. I will check to see. I might give, like, put in a, a deep heat rub or something in case she gets a sports injury. But other than that, that's her first aid kit done. I love those plasters. <laughs> I think they're so funny. Right, anything else I got for... Oh, no, that's B&M. This is... Now, I must tell you about this. This, I suffer, as you know, with breakouts on my face. And this has really, really helped my skin. And it's really cheap. It's £1.25, this toner but it's from Home Bargains. So it's called So Fresh Watermelon Crush Pore Tight Toner Hydrating. So it tightens all your pores. And I put this on so I cleanse, tone, moisturize twice a day. And this is the toner I use. So just in case anyone suffers with breakouts, this one is very good from Home Bargains. I can recommend it and it's cheap, which we like. We like it. <laughs> Does anyone listen to um, 
Help I Sexted My Boss podcast that I love so much with Jordan North and William Hansen. And if you don't, you won't get this, okay? Wendy, can I borrow your potato peeler? <laughs> Those of you that listen to it, you're going to get that. <laughs> So I got her a potato peeler because that's one of the things she needed for uni. So I'm going to put that on her first aid box. And then, is that it from Home Bargains? I think that's it from Home Bargains. Yep. So now we go on to B&M. And when I tell you, right, I had to go around the store several times because I thought they've not got any Halloween stuff. There's no Halloween stuff. It was right at the end, near the checkouts. Who puts the Halloween stuff there? Put it as you come in. You know, everyone's going to be interested in it. Anyway, maybe they might not have wanted people to nick stuff and put it near the tills for that reason. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I found it in the end. But I go off. I digress. So I bought Poppy two sharp knives for £3. We discovered the other day I'd forgotten to buy her any knives. <laughs> So she can't chop her potatoes because she loves her mash and gravy. So now she can, she's got a potato peeler and her knives to make her potato, mashed potato. So that's good. That's a relief. <laughs> and she says she cuts up the chicken with knives as well. Um, now, how happy was I to find the last one on the shelf of the best mug in the world? This. I am going to say it is the best mug in the world. I love it. I've got one. I wanted another one and I couldn't find one last year. And I saw this one on the shelf, £2.50, £2.50. And I was like, that's it. It was meant to be. So now I've got two. So when I'm using one, the other one can be in the dishwasher and then I can get, yay! Because I get really sad when my, my mug's in the dishwasher i'm like oh i can't use my favorite mug but now i have two favorite mugs i get excited about silly things i've got some vegetables from home bargains and some carrots for dinner tonight but i've just put the slow cooker on let me show you in here by the way this is a tip that i found on tiktok if you put a piece of kitchen roll over the top of your slow cooker it stops your food um, getting too wet from the moisture because you know you end up with really runny sauce. That's because of the moisture off the lid. So in here we've got chicken, carrots, white wine sauce and tarragon. So that's our dinner tonight. And I'm going to do that with the broccoli and the roast potatoes. So I might put the broccoli in sort of half an hour before it's ready to dish up. That is my little haul done. By the way, as well, before I go, I wanted to tell you, I've had a funny taste in my mouth for days now. And last night I was sitting there and I, it felt like there was a film in my mouth. It was disgusting, like slime. And I'm like, this is making me feel a bit sick to be honest. And then I twigged. You can get thrush from antibiotics. I've had two lots of strong antibiotics. I've got thrush in my mouth. I checked, I looked. So I've ordered um, this mouthwash that's supposed to help with the thrush in your mouth. So hopefully that will help. If not, I'll have to speak to the doctors and get something else. But yeah, that's delightful. So I've got permanently this horrible taste. It's a bit like you've eaten a packet of beef and onion crisps and it's like an hour later and you can still taste them. It's like, it's like that. We can't go blackberry picking. It's raining wet, raining wet. Um, what has just come, sorry, went a bit dark then because I went in the hall, is a cream. I've still got the pity rhiasis. Let me show you over my trunk. Let me just try and, uh... so can you see that? I am literally, covered in this and I have been for months now um, it's also on my boobs and it's on my back and it's starting to go down one of my legs and I watched a TikTok from a girl it's amazing what you learn on TikTok a girl that had it all over her face and her neck so luckily I haven't done that touch wood where's wood there wood 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 um <laughs> And she said she used this 
Eucerin, Urea Repair Plus. Urea is good for a lot of things, you know. I know it's a thing of the urine, but it helps a lot of skin problems. So she said she put this on twice a day or even more and it cleared it up. So it cost a lot of money. This was £11. But if it helps the pity rises go away and not make me look like I've got some lurgy. <laughs> Last night when I was getting ready for bed, I said to Mark, I look like I've had chicken pox or something. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you posted on that and let you know in case any of you hopefully you won't suffer with pity rises because it's it's not pleasant it's very itchy there's nothing you can do about it one of them things but anyway i've just filmed the rest of the back pain um video so you'll be getting that at some point and now i'm just going to carry on watching youtube until mark gets in good morning my lovelies it is half past 10 it's weird thursday all day now normally today is audi day but this morning, due to stress that I've had and drop in temperature of the weather, my left leg has given way in pain. Like, it feels broken. It's down one side. I've not had pain there before, I don't recall. So it's a new pain, which makes me think it's a new emotion. I don't know because emotion as we know is connected so much to our pain um, and I've certainly had my share of stress this morning <laughs> but anyway I'm still smiling just look at the bags under my eyes I haven't put my makeup on yet so I phoned Mark and I said I don't know what to do because my legs give away in pain and I'm worried that that's going to happen in Audi and he said leave Audi We'll do it together when I get back from work or I'll go on my own. And I said, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this morning and have a rest and then see how it is. And if it eases off this afternoon, I'll go and do it this afternoon. So we shall see. But yeah, it's just... I could feel, due to the weather, because the weather's dropped from about 23 degrees to about... 19 so not huge drops but just enough for my body to feel okay this is happening personally I love it I love the drop in temperature bring on the chilly days and the <laughs> the cozy evenings you know but my body does not fibromyalgia does not like cooler temperatures so I think anyway I have got way enough footage for this week's weekly i'm sure it'll be another hour job i'm sure it will i'm just putting some washing away because remembering everything that i've done this week tomorrow i am going to film as well i've got my fan on <laughs> but not for this weekly tomorrow's going to be in a wednesday upload because i am going to check out two of our local garden centers um, they have autumn displays and I want to go and have a look and I think mum and dad are joining me at one of them So I thought that would make a nice little Wednesday upload so you will get that in a future Wednesday upload. I've got loads of Wednesday uploads coming so <laughs> there was me at Christmas worrying that I wouldn't have enough content for Wednesday as well, but It looks like I have so far, but <laughs> who knows if it will continue. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> I try my best what I would like to chat about in the comments this week is if somebody could play the lead role in the story of your life, actor, actress, anybody, who would it be and why? My answer to my one would be either Anne Hathaway, um, I love her films I love her as an actress and obviously she's got the long dark hair or the one the actress out of Drop Dead Fred with um, Rick Mayle I can't remember her name but again she's she looks very similar to me um, and I like her as an actress so either of those two would play the story of my life and good luck to them <laughs> so let me know in the comments who would play the story of your life and why anyway Hope you've enjoyed this week. 
give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done already for future videos and i will see you all on wednesday with i think oh it's a primark shop with me it's a good one it's a good one see you later